You've been riding high in the polls. You've definitely gotten a boost. I, you know, I'm very biased on this, but you, you came and spoke to Turning Point Action, and I think that is definitely responsible for some of that, showing that you were willing to go in and meet with the grassroots the way that you did. But I do also want to ask, and, and I don't think I've actually heard you answer this question yet, why do you think that you have been able to come up so fast relative to Governor DeSantis not being able to close the gap, whereas you've been able to show that you can? Well, I think that every advantage comes with its disadvantage. So he has a giant super PAC that's funding his campaign, and that's a big competitive advantage in being able to put ads up on television across the country. I've made a $15 million investment, more than that actually, of my own hard-earned money, but it pales in comparison to the amount in his super PAC. But the flip side is I want to be independent. I do not want to be constrained in what I can and cannot say between what the mega donor class of the Republican Party wants their candidates to say. There's a reason why I'm the only person who showed up in Miami and the only person, you know, one of the few people who showed up at Turning Point, answered the questions as candidly as I could with Tucker on stage. I'd rather be unconstrained and speak the truth and lose the election than to win by playing some political snakes and ladders. It's not how I want to win. And so I think for the other candidates, there are also other candidates, not just DeSantis, I'm not picking on him. This is the super PAC primary. I think more than any election in, in history, even more so than the Democratic primary last time around, this Republican primary is the super PAC primary. And I think the problem with that is that creates a series of super PAC puppets. And the super PAC puppets have a competitive advantage because they can buy a ton of airtime as they're doing right now. I mean, there's a you know, $40 million ad buy that Tim Scott super PACs reportedly have made. Other super PACs have buy national super PAC money. But that also restrains what you can say. It restrains the truth that you're able to speak because the donor money in Spigot, the mega donor money turns off if you're speaking the truth as unsparingly as I am. And so, you know what, Let me jump. There's, each side has their own competitive advantages. I stand on the side of speaking the truth, doing it unsparingly, doing it without constraint. If that's what the people want, great, I'm going to be the next president. If not, that's the people's choice, not mine. That's the way I look at this.